Bismillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. Peace and blessings be upon our Holy Prophet Muhammad. Somebody asked, what is in the paradise that we should long for? And they said in it is the Messenger of Allah, Prophet Muhammad. Peace and blessings be upon him. Now, to be with the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, in paradise is a hard path. However, glad tidings for the ones who send frequent blessings upon the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, for they will be, inshallah, with him in paradise. However, to understand the shortcut, one must really understand the journey from this life to paradise. This halaqa may change your life, so if you would like to know how to be with the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sassan in paradise, then join us after the break. Bismillah and peace and blessings be upon our Holy Prophet Muhammad. Now if you ask the majority of the Muslims if they would like to be in the company of Rasulullah in Jannah, the majority will say yes. However, to be with the Holy Prophet Muhammad in Jannah requires action and not just words. However, it is possible since Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Holy Quran, whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger will be with the Prophets, the Siddiqeen, the Shuhada, and also the Salihin, which are the righteous. And this really includes Rasulullah because he is among the Prophets, inshallah. Now, we said in the last halaqah, the one who increases their blessings upon the Holy Prophet, priest but upon him, will have 15 privileges from Allah Ta'ala. Some of these privileges includes in dunya and also in the akhirah and in the akhirah insha'Allah the privilege will be that Rasulullah will intercede for you on the day of judgment this is because of the hadith and alayhi salatu wasalam he said that whoever has sent blessings upon me ten times in the morning and the evening will get his intercession insha'Allah and also be with him inshallah in paradise now being with him uh, on the day of judgment and being in paradise are completely two different ranks and we will discuss inshallah how we can be with the holy prophet muhammad sallam in paradise there are specific actions that will make it easy inshallah to be with him in paradise however we must understand the journey first and what one must do so for example, in the last halakha we said that the one who increases their blessings upon the Holy Prophet should not be committing any major sins. And this is because the Holy Prophet on the Day of Judgment will intercede for the major sins, but not for the minor sins. And this means that if we want to be with the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, we should not be making any minor, uh, major sins. This is to be with him, inshallah in um, the high ranks in Jannah, inshallah, in the, as a company. Now in the picture, uh, we show that there are specific stations that we will have to go through until we reach paradise. And the one who increases the blessings upon the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, will be able to speak, skip all of these steps very, very easily. And this is because of the blessings that Allah bestows upon the one who increases their blessings upon the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Now in this halaqa, we will only describe the journey. However, in the next halaqas of Hakam and halaqas, we will explain in detail each step and the privileges that those who increase their blessings upon the Holy Prophet Muhammad will have at each station and how they will be removed from harm insha'Allah on the day of judgment and any punishments. Now we know that the Muslim should escape two types of punishments. The first is the punishment of the grave and also the punishment of the hellfire. Qanat al-Istishfa, which is the channel, the hospitalization channel, 
Here, we also discuss the engineering miracles behind sending blessings upon the Holy Prophet. And we have done extensive research. And of the research, we found that um, on the Day of Judgment, there will be the Salat Bridge. We will have to cross this bridge, inshallah. And there will be two categories of people. The one who are believers with the hypocrites and the ones who are believers with the Messenger of Rasul We want to be with this category, inshallah. And therefore, the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said to increase the blessings upon me or convey blessings upon me, for it will be a nur in the grave, a nur in the salat, a nur in paradise, inshallah. And we also found that the salat is actually a mirror um, of the five pillars of Islam. And there will be checkpoints about seven checkpoints on the Sirat, and of these checkpoints will be the first five pillars of Islam, inshallah. However, if your deeds are not enough in the dunya, then we will even easily slip into hellfire. And therefore, um, by the mercy of Allah, he, he may take us out of the hellfire and put us back on the Sirat. Um, but it, we, will, we cannot guarantee this, inshallah. However, the one who increases blessings upon the Holy Prophet will be a nur on the Sirat as the Rasulullah said. It, why, why is this? Because um, the, the grave and the Sirat will be pitch black, completely black. We will not be able to see. And on the Sirat will be absolutely pitch black. So when we increase our blessings upon the Holy Prophet, we're actually increasing our nur on the Sirat, inshallah. And of those people who are Muqthiri, who send frequent blessings, inshallah, will be with Rasulullah on the Sirat and will be relying on his nur to take us through quickly to the Sirat instead of us relying on the nur of our deeds in the dunya, which may not be enough. Now you might be thinking, my deeds are not enough. What do I do? And how do I increase my blessings upon the Holy Prophet? So first of all, we want to be the Muqtadeen. So you should be sending at least 300 to 1,000 blessings upon the Holy Prophet as we discussed in the previous halaqa a day, inshallah, to be registered of the Muqtadeen. And also to produce books in support of Rasulullah Sallallahu um, as we do in this uh, in channel. Um, Dr. Samir Al-Hafnawi has produced many books in support of Rasulullah Sallam um, regarding sending blessings upon the Holy Prophet. And these books, subhanAllah, have been actually read by the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallam himself, for he has revealed in, in himself in the dreams of uh, Dr. Samir that his books are actually um, registered in a white sheet in the grave of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallam, which means that he's free of sin. And therefore, these books are actually accepted. The books are Ghufran al Qubur, which means the enlightenment of the graves through sending blessings upon the Holy Prophet and forgiveness of sins. And also Hibat al-Rahman, which are the privileges that we were talking about of those who increase their blessings upon the Holy Prophet. These books are actually registered um, in a white sheet in the Holy Prophet. And therefore, the people who actually contributed to printing these books have actually had miraculous uh, dreams from the Holy Prophet Muhammad and a lot of uh, glad tidings as well and these are actually on the in the halaqas on the channel however these halaqas are mostly in Arabic however we will inshallah translate them into English and um, if you would like to um, support to print um, these books then please leave a comment down below inshallah we would love to um, um, support this cause as well um, because when you print the books um, you will actually be gaining, uh, gaining um, a lot of hasanat for the ones who actually read the books and those who read the books will be increasing their blessings upon the Holy Prophet would also be in order for you in the, in the qabr which is the, 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 the grave and also in the salat in the akhirah inshallah in the next halaqa, inshallah, we will discuss how to be Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi in Jannah. However, I hope this halaqa has benefited you. 
and um, inshallah we will see you in the next halaqa wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh ya rabb ghfirli wa qbil a'mali wa tub alayya fa in kunt asiya fa ant ar-rahim ومن علي بفضلك وعلم رحمتك ونورك فإنك أنت الكريم واشفع لنا يا رسول الله واشفع لنا يا رسول الله واشفع لنا يا رسول الله واجعلنا بجوارك في جنة النعيم Salatu wassalam alayka ya rasulina wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.